in your secular history. History itself, without even having to go in the Bible, you still hear them talking about the resurrection of Jesus. Praise the Lord. love for you that's why jesus came that's why jesus went into that grave after being you know crucified on that cross for six hours jesus was in that grave for three days because god loves you jesus came to pay the price for the sin of humanity jesus came to pay the price for you and me Jesus came to redeem you. Jesus came to pay the price for you. The blood of Jesus Christ to shed on that cross was for you. The things that Jesus suffered was for you. The resurrection of Jesus Christ also is for you. Whatever situation is bringing death into your life Jesus can bring you out of that situation whatever challenge is threatening your life today Jesus Christ can bring you out of that challenge I say it without flinching the blood of Jesus Christ still heals terminal diseases. I say this without flinching. The blood of Jesus Christ is more powerful than any terminal disease you can ever bring before him. I say it without flinching. The healing power of the blood of Jesus Christ still available for you today. I say that one without flinching. The Bible tells us that they brought unto Jesus Christ those who were taken with diverse diseases and torments. Those that were possessed with devils. Those who were the lunatic mental health those that have the palsy, paralysis and he healed them all of them what is your disease the blood of jesus can heal that what's tormenting you what's your torment what's your anguish what ails you what irks you? The blood of Jesus is available for you today. Hi. <laughs> the blood of Jesus is as alive today as it was 2,000 years ago because Jesus is risen from the dead. Because Jesus is alive today. So his blood is alive today. Conditions like depression, anxieties, schizophrenia, all of that. The blood of Jesus set you free. The things that troubles you, the things that are holding you bound, all of that, the blood of Jesus can set you free. of Jesus Christ can release you from fear. The blood of Jesus can release you from bondage. You can have it. You can have it. No, no, you should. Okay. Uh, no worries, bro. Okay. Uh, sweet. Uh, the blood of Jesus can set you free.
And I know and you know that humanity needs to be set free. If humanity is okay, why are people still afraid of dying? Why are people still afraid of hell? If humanity was okay. You see that uneasiness that you have inside you. That uneasiness that you have inside you. God put it there. Because God is a loving God. God wants you to know when you're not right with him. Anybody who's loving will do that. And you know, women are so very good at doing this work. If things are not okay between you and your messes, you will know. In a hot minute, you will know. She will let you know. You can choose to be known, but she will let you know. If things are not okay between you and your dad, he has a way of letting you know if he feels insulted and offended. If things are not okay between you and your brother or your sister, you have a way of letting each other know that things are not okay. God does exactly the very same thing. God has his ways of making you know when things are not okay between you and him. The gospel of Jesus Christ will let you know when you're not okay with the true and the living God. When you come to the cross of Jesus, know the status of your relationship with him the conscience that God has put on the inside of you is to let you know if you're okay with God or not going to church doesn't mean that you're okay with God to any place of worship doesn't mean you have a relationship with God. Religious exercise and religious practices doesn't mean that you have a relationship with the tree and the living God. The only way to know is to come to the cross of Jesus. The only way to know is to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Is to be washed in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Is to be washed in the blood of Jesus.
so much. Yeah, nice one, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, okay. God bless you. And God bless you, sir. Thank you, brother. Nice, nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, my friend. Thank you. All right. Praise the Lord. What you're looking for is the resurrection of Jesus. It's the resurrection. Jesus Christ is the reason why God would have a relationship with you. Father, I thank you for your grace and I thank you for your mercy. I release in my spirit that this what I came out for today is done. So again, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on the souls of the men and women and children of the town of Oldham. I plead the blood of Jesus for the salvation of souls. I plead the blood of Jesus for deliverance. I plead the blood of Jesus for salvation. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ for men and women to be set free from captivity, uh, from the bondage of sin and from the bondage of the devil and the bondage of the world. I plead the blood of Jesus into the very foundation of the um, town of Oldham. I pour the blood of Jesus into the foundation of Oldham. I pour the blood of Jesus into the foundation of Oldham. I send the blood of Jesus into the atmosphere above the town of Oldham. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ upon every soul um, uh, in, in this here town of Oldham. I speak the blood of Jesus into the hearing of the people of Oldham that they might hear with the hearing of faith and come to the saving knowledge of who Jesus is. I apply the blood of Jesus Christ for salvation. I apply the blood of Jesus for deliverance. I apply the blood of Jesus Christ that this captives may be set free. I apply the blood of Jesus Christ for the removal of spiritual scales from the eyes of the people. That the people might look at the cross of Jesus and believe. Amen, brother. Come on, God bless you, sir. Yeah. Amen. The blood of Jesus is as powerful to, uh, today as it was 2,000 years ago. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ into the spirits of men that those who have not heard the gospel of Jesus might hear it and be made spiritually alive in their spirit man. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ into the hearts of men. I plead the blood of Jesus even upon the minds of the people that as they hear the gospel of Jesus they might understand it. I open the eyes and the understanding of the people of Oldham by the blood of Jesus that they might understand scriptures, that they might understand that Jesus is the Son of God, that they might understand that Jesus Christ is that Messiah God promised, that they might understand that Jesus Christ died and rose again, that the people of Oldham might understand that the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the resurrection of humanity from spiritual death. I plead the blood of Jesus. I use the blood of Jesus Christ to set those who are supposed to be in the house of God tomorrow. I set the blood of Jesus Christ before them. I make their paths straight. I make crooked ways, crooked ways and paths to be made straight that they might find themselves into the house of the Lord tomorrow. Anyone who's received an invitation of the Holy Spirit to be in the house of God tomorrow in this border of Oldham in this here town of Oldham, I speak the blood of Jesus Christ. That the blood of Jesus Christ may lead the people of God, may lead the sheep of God into the house of God. I break down principalities and powers. I break down spiritual barriers by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I use the blood of Jesus Christ to reach every soul, to reach every person in order. That they might hear the gospel. And that they might understand it. And that they might believe in it. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, bro. Amen. God's got 
got nothing but love for you. God loves you. God loves you so much he sent Jesus for you. If you've ever wondered what God's attitude is towards you, God's got nothing but love for you. God's got nothing but love for you. God doesn't want you to live in fear and anxiety. God doesn't want you to live in depression and hatred and anger and bitterness and unforgiveness and all of those things. God wants you to live a happy life. He does. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> God wants you to live a happy life. God wants you to live a life that has inner peace. God wants you to live a life with a quiet conscience. God wants you to live your life with a sense of being forgiven. God wants you washed in the blood of Jesus. The Jesus who died and rose again. The Jesus who seated at the right hand of the Father. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. God speak, you know. God loves you. But God bless the people of Oldham. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thank you, bro. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, bro. I bless you. All right.